which is an award uh, presentation by the Karan Gupta Education Foundation. It signifies empowerment. It signifies that today's women has the strength to barge ahead. It signifies that women is the real Shakti, you call Stree Shakti. And you have to just recognize it so that others are also motivated and those who are awarded are in turn again motivated to e do even better um, activities in the future. He's a great person as I've uh, come to know that his foundation, he's himself a Harvard graduate and uh, the foundation is doing great work. Karan Gupta Foundation is into ch child welfare and uh, women empowerment and I feel so ch women and children are the basic foundation of our country, the gift for us, for our country to develop further. So uh, whatever they are doing, even for the handicapped, uh, having various skill development classes or getting investments or donations directed directly to the end users, all this is uh, really appreciable and uh, they will go a long way towards empowering women and improving the condition of poor children. It is my absolute pleasure to be with a woman who is a banker, a social activist and one of the most beautiful singers that I have ever seen. I have, the last few days, I've only been hearing ma'am songs. And when I, the more and more that I read about ma'am and the work that she's done for the villages of our country, for women empowerment, she's with mentally retarded children, the work, it's an example to women everywhere. Ma'am is an inspiration. Mrs. Fernavis is one of the most dynamic women that our country has seen. I feel that every woman has a different color in her, a different talent in her. What she needs is to hone this talent. What she needs is a bit of confidence. What she needs is family support. And if parents support their daughters, I don't think so. Anyone can stop a, da a daughter to touch this talent. <laughs>
as she works towards changing the perception of women in India. Through the experiences that our women share tonight, you would undoubtedly be inspired by their strength, courage, and compassion. We wish to recognize these women's amazing achievements, but also to encourage and inspire every person here. We hope that each and every one of you will not only listen, but truly feel what these women have gone through and how they have overcome adversity and achieved what they set out to do. We hope that you, in turn, inspire those around you and let this sense of empowerment spread like wildfire. In this way, we can all have a real impact on our communities and the world at large. Allow me to conclude with Helen Reddy's song. I am woman, hear me roar. In numbers, too big to ignore. If I have to, I can do anything. I am strong. I am invincible. I am woman. Thank you. Yeah, indeed, we all know that our society is full of problems, issues, concerns. And when we see the enormity of these issues, we sometimes feel where to start, how to go about it. Because the issues are grave and we are just small, we are small to handle these issues. But here we should get reminded by the quote, by the inspiring quote of Mother Teresa. She said that I cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters and create many ripples. So this is about creating ripples, creating inspirations. And this is what the award also is all about. It is about recognizing women, recognizing their contribution, and inspiring others too to do the same. For me, charity always, I feel, begins at home. So to start my activities, start my contribution towards social causes, I chose Vidarbha. We all know that in Maharashtra, there is always perennial ongoing drought. 25,000 villages in Maharashtra had been de declared drought affected. We have to realize that to traverse a thousand miles, we have to take a first step. That is what we did and we are still doing. What is needed the most in these villages is counseling. The farmers who are committing suicide, the children who have become suicide prone, they need these women who are getting awarded today here, they need to go there, tell their stories and inspire these villages. And if you have joined the time, you can always join hands and be a part of creating a revolution for our Annadatas. The second, second area of concern for me, I've always been touched by atrocities towards women. And that made me work towards causes like acid attack victims, or uh, taking care of the overall wellness of the labor class and all such things where women are involved. Now we are creating a network of women wherein police machinery would work parallel but there would be empowered women who will take charge of uh, atrocities which are uh, committed towards women and take care that these are not done. And this network is going to go into villages, talukas, towns, everywhere. There is a lot to do and in fact what we do is just a drop in the ocean. But this, these drops matter and the ocean is made of these drops. So let us keep on contributing because we all want to be happy and the best way to be happy is to lose ourselves to the service of others. So with this, I just call upon all of you. You all are people from privileged backgrounds and I feel that destiny does not depend on the steps, shoes we wear, but on the steps we take. So let's take all positive steps towards the betterment of the society so that one day we all stand up and say that yes, we live in an India of our dreams and India which is free of all kind of negativities. So let's look forward to uh, an empowered India with women for making India a better place to live. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a 
तलब मेरा ये रंग है मेरे खुद से ही चंग है जीत जाऊ खुदा अगर तू मेरे संग है थैंक यू आंखों से बोला हाँ मैं पेट से हूँ तो मैंने बोला फ्रिज में नींबू का अचार है ले लेना तू जाते हो उसे बोला ठीक है ये गायत्री पैदा होने के पहले उसका मेरा इंट्रोडक्शन रिश्ता जुड़ हो गया नाड़ जुड़ गई दिन गुजर गए गायत्री की मम्मी एच आई पॉजिटिव थी और मुझे ये बारे में पता नहीं था और गायत्री जब पाँच साल की थी उसकी मम्मी गुजर गई और जब वो एच पॉजिटिव थी जो सेक्स वर्कर के इसमें थे उसका बहुत कर्जा हो गया था कोई लोग उसके वॉशिंग मशीन टी सब लेके गए और आखिर में सिर्फ गायत्री बची थी जिसे वो सोना गाची बेचना चाहते थे गायत्री साढ़े चार साल की थी गंदा सा महिला सा कपड़ा पहना था और मैंने मुझे ऐसे पता चला कि मुझे एक मेरी स्टाफ ने कहा कि तुम्हारा माहिती है का लगा है ती होती ना ती जो मुलीला ते विकता है ऐसे चल किधर है वी वेंट ओवर दे बहुत सारे लोग बैठे थे बिहारी लोग थे बहुत सारे लोग थे ऐसे क्या हुआ तो बोले नहीं आप, आप जाओ आप इधर दादागिरी मत करो बोले दादागिरी नहीं क्या करे वो बताओ तो बोले इसके लड़की के माँ का कर्जा था और वो हमें चाहिए वापस ऐसे कि पर माँ ने कर्जा लिया था बेटी ने तो नहीं कर्जा लिया और इस तरीके से फिर बहुत सारा झगड़ा हुआ और उस वक्त मेरे को अर्धनारी नटेश्वर का जो सब रूप होते हैं और सब मतलब हम लोग बोलते ना कि जहाँ मुझे सोफेस्टिकेट होना है वहाँ मैं सोफेस्टिकेट होती हूँ जहाँ मुझे लाउड होना है वहाँ मैं लाउड होती हूँ और उस वक्त मैंने अगला पिछला नहीं सोचा बच्ची का हाथ पकड़ लिया तब मैंने ये नहीं सोचा था कि मैं उसकी माँ बनूंगी और इस तरीके से वो मेरी जिंदगी में आई वाह मेरे ऊपर 2005 में एसिड अटैक हुआ था और उस वक्त में मैं 15 इयर्स की थी और जब भी कुछ भी होता है चाहे हम बीमार होते हैं या कोई अटैक होता है तो उस वक्त में हमें सबसे ज़्यादा अपनों की ज़रूरत होती है और ये तो एक अटैक हुआ है लेकिन अगर अचानक कोई बीमार हो जाता है और अगर हम उसे अकेला उस पेशेंट को छोड़ दें तो वो जीने की इच्छा ही छोड़ देगा और अगर हम उसको सपोर्ट करें तो कभी जैसे डॉक्टर्स भी कहते हैं कि इसको दवाइयों से ज़्यादा दुआओं की ज़रूरत है तो उस वक्त में मेरे पेरेंट्स का मेरे साथ बहुत सपोर्ट रहा मेरे रिलेटिव्स ने मेरा साथ छोड़ दिया था मेरे दोस्तों ने साथ छोड़ दिया था कोई भी नहीं था मेरे आगे पीछे और मेरे पेरेंट्स थे और एक आंटी थी पापा की बॉस और मेरी लॉयर ये चार लोग पूरी दुनिया के बराबर थे उस वक्त में बहुत हिम्मत दी उस वक्त मेरे साथ ऐसा हो गया कि मैं डेढ़ साल की बच्ची की तरह महसूस करने लगी चलने लगी घुटनों के बल बट लेकिन उसके बाद धीरे धीरे करके इम्प्रूवमेंट आने लगी मेरे अंदर 2007 में मैंने टेंथ में एडमिशन लिया फिर बैक टू बैक सिर्फ दिखता है कि एसिड अटैक हुआ है लेकिन जो आप नॉर्मल लाइफ भी रेगुलर जो लाइफ जी रहे हैं उसके बाद भी आपको बहुत सारी चीज़ें सरवाइव करनी पड़ती है उसने एसिड डाला एक बार लेकिन सोसाइटी एसिड डालती है हर दिन हर दिन हर दिन आपको बहुत सारी चीज़ों को लेके सरवाइव करना पड़ता है क्योंकि सोसाइटी ने मुझे निकाल के फेंक दिया अपनी अपनी जगह से और उस टाइम पे उस क्रिमिनल को एक्सेप्ट कर लिया जब मेरे ऊपर अटैक हुआ तो उस लड़के वो लड़का जब एक महीने के बाद जेल से बाहर आया तो सबसे पहला काम उसने शादी कर लिया और जब उसकी शादी हुई तो वही दिखता है कि सोसाइटी कितनी प्यारी है कि मुझे रिजेक्ट कर दिया बल्कि मैंने कुछ भी नहीं किया था और उसके बाद उसको एक्सेप्ट कर लिया और उसकी अरेंज मैरिज हुई तब 2009 में मैंने ड्रेस मेकिंग टेलरिंग ब्यूटिशन बेसिक कंप्यूटर अपने बलबूते किया बहुत हिम्मत करके क्योंकि पेरेंट्स का बहुत सपोर्ट रहा सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज था मेरे लिए मेरे फेस को ओपन करके चलना मैं फेस कवर करके चलती थी मैंने डिसीज़न लिया कि मुझे फेस ओपन करके चलना है तो उसके बावजूद भी लोगों ने मुझे इतने गंदे गंदे कमेंट किए कि पीछे से बहुत अच्छी दिखती है सामने से बहुत डरावनी दिखती है लोग बच्चे देख के डर जाएंगे ये ये रिएक्शन मिला मुझे लेकिन मुझे ऐसा फील हुआ कि लक्ष्मी लोग तो नॉर्मल लोगों को भी नहीं छोड़ते हैं जिस शादी में जाते हैं जहाँ खाते हैं उन्हीं के लिए ही बुराई करते हैं और वैसे भी क्राइम मैंने नहीं किया है एक उसी सोसाइटी में से निकल के एक बंदा आता है और मेरे ऊपर एसिड डालता है और मैं अपना फेस कवर करके क्यों चलूँ 
फेस तो उसे कवर करना चाहिए सोसाइटी को समझ में आना चाहिए कि आपकी ही सोसाइटी में से एक बेटी के ऊपर एसिड अटैक हुआ है और वो अपना फेस कवर करके चले तो कहीं ना कहीं मैं उस सोसाइटी की बहुत थैंकफुल हूँ कि वो मुझे इतना नेगेटिव करते चले गए बट लेकिन उसका अपोजिट हुआ जैसे उस लड़के ने ये सोचा था एसिड डालते वक्त उसने मुझे जान से नहीं मारा उसने मेरे ऊपर मेरी खूबसूरती को मिटाया इसलिए क्योंकि उसको लगता है कि चेहरा सबसे ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है उसने सोचा कि मैं चार दीवारी में हमेशा कैद रहूँगी मुझे कोई नहीं अपनाएगा उसने ये सोचा लेकिन मैं उससे अपोजिट निकल गई तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है उसके लिए सबसे बड़ा पनिशमेंट है और कहीं ना कहीं आप सब लोगों से मुझे इतनी हिम्मत मिलती है कि मैं जब भी कहीं जाती हूँ आज मैं एक एनर्जी और साथ लेके जाऊँगी वाह I guess for me, my journey. It's I never really started out thinking I'm going to build, um, you know, a, a digital empire or any like that. I was really blogging for passion. I love to write, and I've done different things, whether it was running digital content or being a backup dancer for Sukhbir or being in the radio. And I always felt that the one thing that connected me with people were, were my words or my voice. And that's really what I was trying to do. And I think the one thing, like you said, what is it that people can do? How can they succeed, or how do they find what? Their dream is. I think it's really find that passion. And I say this very often that, you know, before you try to become rich and famous, think about the one thing that you would do for the rest of your life, even if no one paid you to do it, and then do that. Pursue that as your career. And I'm sure all the women on the stage will agree that the universe will conspire to make you successful at it. And I think that's what I encourage all the women and the boys uh, to find the thing you're passionate about. We actually live in an amazing. Time where you can make literally anything your career, careers that never existed, you know, even 10 years ago. So I'm I'm excited for everyone who's, you know, the millennials who want to do something today. so much about lakshmi tacit attack the way she had struggled i think none of our struggle is nothing compared to her and gauri also so after hearing such i mean getting the awareness of what they've gone through so i feel my struggle is nothing compared to them so i whenever i see this award specially i will really think of both of them i'm very happy karan has uh, culled the right kind of woman to achieve this award and i hope he continues to do that because it's very important to choose the right kind of people and to understand and to see what struggle they've gone through it's also uh, it's a quite tedious to actually do that you know from all over the world i mean india at least not the world at least india to pick those kind of women it will be fantastic Uh, I have a definite strong um, affiliation to all these kind of functions which uh, empowers women. I'm a mother of two daughters, so in today's world where there's so much chaos and all the time we are talking about women's place in society, and here's a man who's doing something like that, and that's what we need. Uh, we need men. Uh, who are aware and who are sensitive so it's not about women fighting for a place in a man's world it's about living in harmony and synergy together as man and woman in this planet and somebody like him starting some a program like this it's fantastic and i'm a part of it and i truly believe uh, fighting for a place is not feminism it's about being able to live your choices 
whatever those choices are, um, with conviction and courage, is being a woman. And that is what this program is all about, educating people and making them aware. It's not about information, but making them aware and uh, giving them confidence to find their place in this place. Right? Absolutely. I think, I mean, what I'm doing is what every man should do. We have to support women. Women are the real architects of society. There's no two ways about that. And we all know that once a woman decides to do something, in many cases she can do it better than a man. And I get really angry when I read statistics like 20%, that women get 20% less salaries than men. Why? Men and women are on equal footing. And the whole objective of I Am Woman is to empower women, is to celebrate the inspiration that women give us. I must say it's fantastic because for the first time they've understood what we women are for. And I think uh, soon a time is going to come, as it is we are almost equal, but now we're going to be more than equal with them. And I think I say kudos to all women who are strong and who have it in them to be the best. I'm happy for her because she is very, she is the best. Not from me, but from my mother's heart and also from the world over. She's a very honest person, a lovable person and a giving child. to start something of their own. It enhances her confidence and um, a feeling of achievement cannot be compared with anything else. And for a woman, when she starts something of her own, she, she not only, uh, it is not only a feeling of success, but it's also uh, she's doing something for the society. And that's, I think, incredible. I wish Karan Gupta and Nitesh of all the wishes and congratulations yet again for celebrating I Am Women for the second year this year. Uh, all I can say is that uh, what Karan and uh, Nitesh are doing for this award is commendable because um, to me the I Am Women Award stands for empowering women and women in all different walks of field. Um, and I'm, and I'm, um, I, I'm grateful and, and more than that I'm, um, I'm happy that a man is actually constituting this award because uh, it means that uh, they are actually recognizing that there are so many women out there who are talented and who inspire and who make that difference. Yes. I want to wish um, the I Am Women Awards and the Karan Gupta Foundation all the very best for empowering women and keep continuing doing what you're doing because you're doing a great job. I think it's just really wonderful to see people celebrating women, the, the power, the potential of women, the hope for girls. Um, it's just lovely to see that. Depends on which uh, woman you're talking about, but I think the women that we work with in disadvantaged communities, um, it's just a, we have a long way to go as a nation to give them the opportunities to really meet their potential. Hoping we're able to do that more and more together. I see Mahila in this platform, which has achieved a lot in our field. I think that there is a segment that is hosting and moderating. The ladies will talk with them. They have gone through a lot of struggles, which is a real struggle in life. They have seen all of them. So, they are very proud of all these things. And in my life, personally, the people who are the most Mahila, the most strong Mahila, whether they are my mother, my wife, or my daughter, so uh, I'm extremely honored to be here and thank you Karan Gupta for calling me here. To women, there's only one message. Um, all women, all of us should... Our uh, inside एक आवाज होती है उस आवाज को हमेशा सुनो मैं मानती हूँ कि वो जो हमारा इनर वॉइस है वो हमें हमेशा सही रास्ते पर लेके जाएगा तो बस उसको सुनो